And the simple answer for that is by sharing them. When you share an idea openly, you can make things happen and grow. Have you ever stopped to think about precisely what an idea is and what counts as a contribution? In my preparation for this talk, I searched idea on Wikipedia. And in the most narrow sense of the word, an idea is just whatever is before the mind while you think. But it goes much deeper than that. And I encourage you to search on Wikipedia for idea because there's so many things that I could not expand on here because I just don't have enough time. Some things include uh, philosophy from Plato, uh, semantics, which is the study of meaning, uh, legal analysis, analysis pertaining to things as natural law, patents, copyrights, and then there are related search articles. Contribution <laughs> is you. What you care about and what you're willing to put forward. Ideas, innovation, and living are all processes of self-discovery and exploration. The fact is that great ideas are plentiful, and few people realize that they have the ability, the know-how, and the resources available to them. The fact, uh, awaken the power within all of us and appreciate what you have. Love others and love yourself. Ideas are open knowledge, and knowledge belongs to everyone. They would have set our species apart and what makes us human. The philosophy to share ideas liberally defies the old adage to keep ideas secret. And there's many reasons for this. Some people are shy. Some people think their ideas won't be accepted. Some people don't realize that everybody else can have the same idea. They just don't talk about it. However, the creative person's tendency from jump, to jump from idea to idea to idea can lead to the idea to die in isolation. If you broadcast your ideas openly, you generate valuable feedback. Great ideas don't develop in isolation. If you engage a few partners in every project or any idea that you have, the more people you work with, the more diversity that can be worked into you. In preparation for this talk, I worked with another person, and her name is Tabitha. I talked to her on several occasions about the nature of ideas and why it's important to share them. She had some great insights, but probably wouldn't have shared them in an open forum like this. So we worked together. We built on each other's ideas, and we created something more than we could have done on our own. And this was done in a Starbucks. <laughs> We sat down with pen and paper in front of us and we just wrote down what we were talking about. Looking at it again afterwards, it helped me remember the flow of the conversation and the specific things that were worth remembering. Not everyone is comfortable giving a pre presentation like this, and it would be hard to fit 50 speakers into an event like this. But I bet everyone has ideas and there's many ways of sharing them. And when you do, you'll find that there are many people who have the same ideas and feelings. And, when you, and that will give it collective power. The best way to describe it is the distinction between an individual idea, or individual knowledge, and mutual knowledge. For individual knowledge, person A knows idea X, and person B knows idea X, but there's no connection. For mutual knowledge, person A knows idea X, but person B also knows idea X. But person A knows and person B both know that they know idea X, and this creates an exponential restraint and gives them confidence and belief in themselves, so they don't second guess each other. Strength in numbers is the nature of most revolutions. Another practical example of this concept is community board and its code. <coughs> this follows this principle, and its potential is enormous to grow. On the board, I put forward a post for a project called the Omega Garden, which is a system of growing food. Two days later, I got a reply and a referral to the Pritis Community Garden. It was damaged in the recent windstorms and they're currently rebuilding. They wish to utilize many systems like this and many more. These are the first steps of examples which can make great things happen. We plant idea seeds and watch them grow and create bridges of knowledge.
So this is an aquaponics system. When I went to uh, the Prittis Community Garden, I was originally had the idea of an Omega Garden, but as soon as I showed her this, she was she got completely excited about it because down here is a fish tank, and it has perch, and up here you grow food, anything you want, and the fish feed the plants, and the plants feed the fish, and then you eat both. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> to keep it sustainable. But perch, they reproduce really fast, so it's not that big of a deal. So this is uh, the entrance to the Prittis Community Garden. It's a beautiful place. As soon as I walked onto the property, I just felt this complete sense of welcomeness. And it's probably been in development for about seven years. They have a geodesic dome, yeah. which some people might be interested in helping because she wants to build more. They also have greenhouses. And Raz, you might be interested. She's also interested in building an earthship on her property. And she said you're welcome to come down and talk to her about it, and she'll put you, you get all credit for it. She'll name it after you. <laughs> so this is a communal area, in the fire pit. And this is the entrance to the greenhouse. There's two. This is the smaller one, and I noticed as soon as I walked in, it was about 15 degrees colder outside than it was in here. for power. She wants to put uh, stationary bikes. <laughs> no, it's delayed. But yeah, she wants to put um, stationary bikes that produce power so that the greenhouse will be run for the really sustainable energy. These are a list of all the stuff that she's grown recently. And this is the inside of the large greenhouse. The aquaponic system would go along the, the side here. There would be fish in the bottom of the things, and then food would be growing above. And then the water would be filtered into all of these different growing uh, pots. And it could produce food for close to 200 people. This is an example of how just sharing an idea can lead to amazing projects. I, this is exactly what I was hoping for. And it just took me to put the idea out there and then get some feedback. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, throughout the night, there's cards, there's cue cards on the table over here. So if anybody has an idea or a thought or a question, just write it down and you can either keep it for yourself or you can hand it in to a speaker later. Mm -hmm. If we all put our ideas forward, there's nothing that we can't do. So let's create a new paradigm for the flow of ideas in the sense of community. Yeah. yeah.